what about mains in case of preliminary examination if you are able to qualify then you have to appear for mains examination preliminary examination is only objective in nature that means a multiple choice question and you have to select the correct choice whereas a uh, mains examination is a written examination you have to write that is most important part of mains examination uh, first two qualifying papers are there they are of obvious uh, english language and second that is any one indian regional language if you are belonging to seven sisters then you can consider english as second language also but other than that you have to consider only uh, first in english and second any other indian regional language obviously these two papers are for qualifying marks so uh, there are total what we are to going to get you are not considering in that total marks henceforth that means after this two qualifying paper all papers we have to consider in uh, total so each paper is of 250 marks so first paper that is essay writing essay is uh, we have to consider as mirror of your personality your thoughts your intelligence everything you can consider there that is in essay writing initially this essay writing was of 300 mark and only one essay was there but now uh, certain changes are observed that uh, obviously they given this for 250 marks in new syllabus and uh, many time they are giving you this type of pattern that uh, set of four essay question 1 set of four essay question 2 and you have to select any one essay from set 1 and one essay from set 2 or question 1 question 2 so you have to write two essays initially it was only one essay but now we are giving you more detailed choice you have to write about two essays so 125 marks each two essays where you have to write in terms of 1250 words approximately so you can count on one paper let us imagine that you are able to write 10 words in a line it is not possible but suppose you are able to write 10 words in a line then a uh, single full scape is having suppose 30 lines then your single full scape will give you 300 words so like that you have to write down essay that is of uh, actually 2500 words but now we are dividing it into 1250 and 1250 so like that you have to write down two essays then uh, next paper that is of science and technology then ethics history geography that means general study only here uh, what is the recommendation that whatever you have studied for preliminary examinations that is there only for mains except ethics ethics and uh, another topic is there that is internal security of india so like that minimum uh, minor here and there but rest of the topics they are there belonging to preliminary examination only so no separate study if however whatever uh, optional subject you are going to select that you have to study say till here that means in case of prelim your knowledge is expected that is up to 10 standard level 10 plus 2 level knowledge that is uh, useful but when you are considering your optional subject then it is usually graduation plus one years knowledge that means suppose you are going for ma then whatever the syllabus expected in ma part first that is there if you are going for msc then whatever the syllabus for msc part 1 that is considered here that is in optional subject so there are many optional subjects uh, you can visit upsc.gov.in and you can find out the list of optional subject because some subjects they are there for graduation but they are not here in uh, upsc's list so you have to find out the subject 
which is going very close to your graduation subject. Many times students are taking some drastic decision. A science student will say that I will go for history or geography. Some uh, students they will select uh, human anthropology and like that subjects. So keep in mind uh, here whatever subject you are going to select that is of graduation plus one level. So very deep study is required. Your written answers are expected that part only. So you have to get select for that optional subject. Uh, this is about uh, mains. Now here 250 marks each subject is there. So optional subject that is also two papers of optional subject. So 250 plus 250 that is 500 marks. They are there for uh, optional subject. So here we are getting uh, mains examination score. From mains they are going to select for interview or that is called as personality test. But keep in mind here, uh, suppose, uh, suppose vacancy is of 1000 uh, candidate, then they are supposed to select 3000 student for personality test. So we are saying the ratio is of 3 is to 1, that is from 3 candidate we have to select 1 candidate. So from 3000 they are going to select 1000 candidate and like that they are going to arrange cutoff. Okay, that marks are called as cutoff marks. They are going to select in this fashion. And then you are supposed to go for personality test. 